I need to clear out the cobweb. So that's Goku. During his battle with Frieza, I take it. Yes, that's the one. Hmm. Isn't Saiyan hair supposed to be black? Saiyans possess the ability. Planet Beerus. Beerus has a dream that can change everything in the Z Warriors universe. Beerus spends days in distress on his planet. It looks like the Oracle Fish's vision will come to friction. A war with powers that transcend all ends up being created. Beerus' dream. Beerus is in a war against the Celestials. Beerus has his Akai transformation activated. At this moment, several Celestial beings begin to fight each other. The Great Priest begins to cause the greatest catastrophe there is. At that moment, Beerus with his Akai form alongside Whis prepare to fight. A being identical to Goku appears with an infinite god form. The one who transcends everything and everyone fighting all other Celestials. Beerus questions himself and says, Is this the ultimate Saiyan? Who is this guy? <laughs> I won't let you in at all! At that moment, Beerus steps forward to fight the Saiyan. At that time, a great planetary destruction happens. We says, Mr. Beerus, don't do this, or that will be the end of it. Beerus wonders, Do you know this guy, Whis? Who is this B? At that moment, Beerus wakes up. Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's go back to the point. Beerus wakes up from his dream. The Oracle Fish there was moving. We says, Mr. Beerus, it looks like you finally woke up. It looked like that you were having a nightmare of some sorts. Beerus watches and speaks. Whis! I had a very strange dream, and it all felt so real. I really don't understand what happened. Goku, that Saiyan, that being was totally similar to Goku, but his powers actually transcended even the God's own power. I couldn't understand what was happening. It looked like totally surreal abilities. And who knows something behind this, Whis? Don't hide it from me. Whis starts to laugh and says, it seems that the Oracle Fish's thoughts eventually came to friction. A long time ago, you dreamed of a Saiyan that was behind all this, didn't you? The Saiyan of your dream. So much so that you fought Goku shortly afterwards, believing him to possess the form of the Saiyan God. But from what you're saying, it's a transformation and it's a power that transcends everything and everyone. Hmm, interesting. What do you want to do now, Mr. Beerus? That wasn't just a dream, was it? Beerus watches and says, Speak the truth, please! Make the Oracle Fish show us the vision of the future! You know very well that with our powers, this is capable of everything! Whis responds, Mr. Beerus, you know very well that this is a sin. The future belongs only to those who will be alive, so we can't try to change it. Even the Lord knows. You authorized it when I went back in time so I could help Mr. Goku and Vegeta. This could be considered a heavenly sin. Are you sure you want to know what will happen in the future from the vision of the Oracle Fish? Beerus makes a serious face and says, Don't you toy with me, Whis. You know very well that of all the deities, what we do here in Universe 7, you can manipulate this information so the High Priest doesn't know what we did in the fight against Frieza because it was totally wrong. Regardless of how cunning Frieza was fighting Goku and Vegeta, he had destroyed the Earth and finished them all. You protected them yourself, and we messed with time. So don't give me these. I need to have the Oracle Fist vision right now. We start slapping and says, <laughs> Stay calm, Sir Beerus. If that's all you want, you can continue with that thought of yours. Come on, let's go to the Oracle Fish. At that moment, Beerus and Whis walk to the Oracle Fish to process its vision. Meanwhile, in the time chamber in Universe 7, Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan perform triple training in the time chamber. A great battle begins to be created. Goku activating his Ultra Instinct, Vegeta activating his Ultra Ego, and Gohan in his final form begin to have a great battle. Goku says, Hey Gohan, you really are very powerful now, aren't you? Vegeta watches and speaks. Kakarot, it seems that this boy can surpass us at any moment. In fact, he has already surpassed us several times. His abilities are sure to get more and more powerful. So I really want to see what he will be able to show. What will be all the skills that Gohan will be able to show? Days and days go by. 
The science training continues. Outside the time chamber, Dante and Mr. Popo watch and talk. What do these Saiyans want? Why do they want to get so powerful? What's happening? I, can I cannot understand this. The days go by and the three Saiyans continue to fight. Unbelievable. Back to planet Beerus. Beerus is amazed at everything he sees in the vision he has on the Oracle Fish. Beerus says, This is amazing! Do you mean that this is the power of the one who transcends everything? Then a divine battle between the gods will really happen. I should already suspect it. Do you mean that this is how it ends? If we involve the other gods, an even bigger war will ensue. <sighs> What will Xenosama think of all this? There are the gods of destruction. We are here to bring balance, but even in this case, these powers go far beyond any other energy. This power transcends even Xenosama's powers. <sighs> Goku got that strength. The question is, how did he get it? The Oracle Fish's vision only showed that he has that power of level now. It does not show if someone manipulated him or if someone used that energy. <sighs> he looks like things are going to get a lot more complicated. I really need to understand what's going on. There's no choice left. We need to do this. We starts watching and has a very questionable thought and says, Are you sure, Mr. Beerus? For everything there is a solution, you know that. We can't just make a different decision. Now think carefully. Perhaps we may be acting in a certain impulse. Wrong decisions will never cause balance to be created. Any other decision, even more against mortals, can cause great catastrophes to be caused. That was just a dream. Understand that nothing that happens in the real world can be compared to a dream. You can't just act of impulse. Beerus watches and says, It doesn't matter to me, Whis. I'm here to bring balance. I didn't destroy the Earth in the past just for some specific ideals. And now I know very well that that had to be done. Whis responds, <laughs> So be it, Lord Beerus. I hope you're doing the right choice. Back to Universe 7. Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta finish their training in the time chamber. After the three leave the time chamber, Lord Popin and also Dende starts to observe and says, Looks like your training is over. You managed to get really much more powerful. That's what you are really looking for, right? Very good. That's nothing more than amazing. What will you want to show now? What will your performance be? It really makes me question myself a lot. Good, come on. Show more and more on one skill more powerful than the other. After all, you are here as protectors of the Earth. So many threats that Earth has had. If it weren't for you, Saiyans, we wouldn't have any other kind of salvation. At that moment when Mr. Popo finished talking to Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan, a great light appears over Universe 7 on Earth. From that light appears Beerus and Whis. Goku is happy to see the God of Destruction and the Angel of Universe 7. Goku smiles and says, Mr. Beerus and Mr. Whis, what will our missions be now? We got much more powerful. You can count on us on everything. At that moment, Gohan and Vegeta already changed the physiognomy of their faces after seeing that Beerus didn't have a calm face. At that moment, Beerus says, Goku, don't get me wrong, but I had a vision of the future, and in it, you will be the greatest destroyer of all universes. I can't let that happen. You'll have to be eliminated now. What? Universe 7, Planet Earth, Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta are surprised by the speech of Beerus the Destroyer of Universe 7. Beerus says, Goku, don't get me wrong, but I had a vision where you were the destroyer of everything. I can't let you live on this planet. Your elimination will have to happen now. At that moment, Gohan becomes enraged and says, You're going crazy, Mr. Beerus. Why do you want to attack my father? He didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. Even we always try to save the universes as we did in the Tournament of Power, where you saw us fighting. We fought in real combat to protect all universes, and the wish we asked Super Sharon was that he bring all the universes back. It doesn't make any sense that you want everything to end with my father who gave us all for the tournament. Don't do that, Mr. Beerus. That's a totally tough decision. Beerus watches and says, Shut up, boy! I don't think that because you've managed to develop some greater powers and managed to overflow your land and power that you might want to make a decision about something. Keep quiet, or else you will suffer the consequences. We start watching and says, It seems that Mr. Beerus is making a very tough decision right now. We need to reflect a lot. Hmm... What Mr. Beerus will do is somewhat questionable, but let's see. We can still believe that many things will change, but Mr. Beerus' dream ends up making me question several points. Could Mr. Goku really cause any complications in the future? That doesn't make a lot of sense. 
Vegeta says, What's going on here? I've never seen Beerus behave like this. Seems that he actually believes this Kakarot would be a threat. What happened? We always seek to bring balance and peace to the universes. And we always protect the Earth. There's no logic for Beerus to want to do this. At that moment, Beerus observes and speaks. I have always had you mortals make many decisions because in a way you were bringing balance to the universe. Several other beings were want no. Several other beings ended up wanting to cause the biggest catastrophe on top of everything and whether or not to manage to resolve all situations. But now it seems that things are a little different. Now everything is more complicated. I see the battles that should take place. You manage to defeat the enemy and you manage to want more and more to go after power. And that ends up complicating things even more. In my vision, Goku was with a completely different behavior and using powers that I had never seen before. That was a sign saying that his existence could still complicate things. I will now have to eliminate Son Goku. Mr. Beerus, now I'm the one who's going to speak. Don't get me wrong, but you once said that you would destroy the whole Earth if I forgot to protect it. So if you believe you can destroy me, the only thing I have to do is fight you to protect me. Then come! Xenosama's Palace. At that moment, Xenosama and the High Priest looked like they were analyzing different behaviors in the universe. The High Priest says, I feel like the stars are walking different paths here. It looks like the galaxies will clash soon. Perhaps Divine Power may be trying to say something. You don't believe? Lord Zeno. Xenosama's guard starts to make a worried face. Xenosama watches and speaks. We have your great priest's power, but what concerns me is whether it is prepared. The great priest starts to smile and says, Are you really going to entrust this responsibility, Lord Zeno? That's quite risky. You know that. Xenosama speaks. I think it's about time Goku knew the whole truth. The high priest begins to smile and says, Oh, whatever you're saying, Lord Beerus. Planet Earth. At that moment, Beerus the Destroyer starts to launch several attacks on Goku. Goku activates his Super Saiyan 2. The two begin to battle. Beerus says, You can only be kidding think that a transformation like that is going to do something with me. Gohan, Vegeta, Dende, and Mr. Popa besides Whis starts watching. Gohan says, Mr. Whis, are you going to allow that to happen? It makes no sense that Mr. Beerus would want to attack my father. My father did nothing for him. Just because of what the fish said, or because of a dream he had, he wants to fight everyone. This doesn't make any sense. Wee's response. I fully understand, Mr. Gohan, but Mr. Beerus, whether he likes it or not, is the god of destruction of Universe 7, and this power was acclaimed to him by Xenosama himself. So they trust Mr. Beerus so he can do what he thinks is right. He's just trying to bring balance. We really need to understand that. How things are going to look now, we need to pay close attention. After all, Mr. Goku always has something up his sleeve. Let's be careful. At that moment, Gohan starts watching and is impressed. Goku, after receiving several blows from Beerus, says, So that's it, Mr. Beerus. Are you really fighting to kill me? <laughs> I thought it was a joke or some test of some sorts. That's how it is. <laughs> I will not accept that you humiliate me in this battle! Now I will fight on my full strength! Goku activates his Ultra Instinct and starts to attack Beerus heavily. Goku manages to dodge several attacks from God of Destruction and begins to show his true mastery of Ultra Instinct over Beerus. Beerus doesn't understand how Goku's blows are being thrown. Goku with great mastery begins to dodge all of Beerus' attacks and hits him in several points of his body. Beerus says, <laughs> Looks like you got stronger, Goku. Well, that's how your training in the time chamber alongside Gohan and Vegeta resulted in. <laughs> Incredible. But don't think that this will be enough to defeat the Destroyer. At that moment, Goku's powers began to increase even more. A voice comes over Goku saying, You are more powerful than all of that. You will be the one who transcends everything and everyone. Goku doesn't quite understand what was going on. Goku says, Who are you? What are you saying? Whis notices a big difference in Goku's personality and another presence approaching. Beerus says, I don't care about your Ultra Instinct transformation. Now I will show my Ultra Ego the most powerful skill. 
The moment Beerus activates his Ultra Ego, Beerus manages to stand out and land several blows on Goku. Goku, even with his Ultra Instinct, starts to be at its advantage. Goku says, Mr. Beerus' power is really is incredible. If this situation, if this continues, I won't be able to move. Looks like things got pretty complicated now. Goku loses his Ultra Instinct. Beerus says, it was great meeting you, Goku. But now it will have to happen for the sake of the universe. Balance must continue. You in the future will become a big threat. At that moment, Beerus launches Hakai on Goku. Goku says, <laughs> I can't die here. This can end me. You're wrong, Mr. Beerus. I'm here to bring peace to Earth and protect all other universes. I can't let that happen. Beerus and Whis are surprised to see that Goku is resitating the Rakai. At this moment, Goku begins to absorb all the Hakai energy that is released by Beerus. And automatically, Goku begins to energize a spirit bomb and all the powers of the universe together with that energy begins to stand out over Goku's body. At that moment, Goku starts to have a big anomaly over his body. His body begins to remind the king the universal Saiyan. Beerus is surprised by what he sees, the Goku of your dream in front of you. Whis is surprised and says, So that was the beam from Mr. Beerus' dream? At that point, Beerus starts to get impressed and tries to take charge directly at Goku's side. Goku was no longer the same. With few blows and with great mastery of self-movement, Goku dodges with great ease and ends up landing several blows on Beerus' the destroyer bringing Beerus to his knees and then holding his head. Beerus didn't understand anything that was going on. Beerus says, Not possible! Where did you get all the power from? Who are you anyway? You're not Goku! At that moment, Goku says, Look, Mr. Beerus, weren't you the one who was going to finish me off? Looks like things have changed a bit. I will not pity you. I just want you to get out of here and I'll eliminate you now. I just want you to get out of here, or I'll eliminate you now. At that moment, Goku begins to have another personality, but his rational voice comes up and says, You're not going to end, Mr. Beerus! Who are you? What are you doing with my body? What's happening here? Leave Mr. Beerus alone! At that moment, Goku releases Beerus. Everyone is shocked to see Goku's universal transformation. A great light appears over the time chamber. At that moment, Beerus and everyone were impressed to see Zenosama beside his guards and the great priest arriving at Kamisama's temple. The high priest begins to smile and says, Good, looks like you were right, Lord Zeno. It really happened. Zenosama smiled and says, Goku, you are beginning to master the powers of a true god. I need you to come with me. We need to talk. Beerus watches and speaks. Oh, Zenosama, what are you doing here? I, I mean... Uh, hello, I mean, uh, uh, hi there, Xenosama. Xenosama looks at Beerus and says, Shut up, Beerus. <clears throat> you are fighting with Goku. We have matters to discuss with Goku. Let's go to my palace. Is everyone impressed with what was happening? What is actually happening with Goku and what is the true idea of this new being that has emerged? Xenosama's palace. After Goku activates his infinite king transformation to fight Beerus, Beerus was surprised by all the power that had been unlocked by Goku. But still, a very different ability ended up being shown. The great priest and Xenosama had appeared at Kamisama's temple and observed everything that had taken place. The great priest began to smile. Beerus has been amazed and Xenosama beside the great priest looked like he already knew what was going to happen. It looked like that everything was premeditated. Whis observes. Beerus says, Why, why Xenosama? Why did you brought us here in this palace? I wanted to resolve this situation with Goku myself, but it was still not possible. <laughs> Does that mean that Xenosama already knew that Goku would show heavenly power? So does that mean my dream was true? So everything the Oracle Fish ended up showing me actually is going to happen? Uh, so that... So what do they mean by this? Goku can eliminate anything and everyone. Things are going to get a little bit more complicated. <laughs> uh... 
At that moment, Goku tries to understand what is happening to his body. Could this be the result of some kind of training I had in the time chamber? Why does Zeno someone want to talk to me? It seems that the day is very complicated. First, Mr. Beerus comes to attack me, and as if it wasn't going enough, he still says he's going to kill me? Soon after, I can I can receive a totally greater power, and after all this happened, and the great priest and Lord Zeno want to talk with me? I do not understand anything. These powers of God, these transformation began to show after all the battles that took place. I need to take, I need to pay close attention to this. Things can get really more and more intense and I will really become the target. At that moment, Goku is stopped by Beerus. Beerus says, Goku, don't think that the power you showed would be able to defeat me. I just watched how far you could show your energy. I am Beerus the Destroyer. Zenosama and the Great Priest called you here. Surely they must know something. At that moment, the Great Priest starts to laugh and says, <laughs> By the way, I saw that you gave Beerus a big problem, Lord Goku. Isn't that right? You mean, I mean, you managed to awaken a heavenly power. Be aware that this kind of power is only awakened with each generation of new warriors. But I shouldn't doubt you. After all, at first you had managed to show your Ultra Instinct the technique that even the Gods of Destruction have difficulties performing. Those skills that the Lord had shown could really make a big difference in battles. I could see that you were getting stronger and stronger, isn't it true, Mr. Goku? I strongly believe that your performance in battle will get better and better. We really need to understand what you're going to show. After all, you are the Saiyan who can transcend the power of everything and everyone. Show what you're capable of, Son Goku. But Mr. Zenosama has something to talk to you. That is very important. Zenosama appears and says, My friend Goku, how long have we not seen each other? You said you were coming to play with me and you never came again. Goku gets embarrassed and says, I'm, I'm sorry, Zenchan. It's because I've been training for a long time, you know, but I knew that at some point I would see you again. At that moment, Zenosama's guards look at Goku and make a serious face. Goku says, Uh, what's up? Can you explain to me? Zenosama looks at Goku and speaks. We have a mission for you. You will have to enter all the timelines and eliminate all the gods there on that timeline. Goku is not surprised and says, But what does that mean? Zenosama gets serious. Pay close attention, Goku. Probably Beerus had a dream about a Saiyan that had destroyed everything and everyone. During those moments, that Saiyan was probably you, Goku. At that moment, Beerus watches and speaks. I knew it! I was sure that Goku was to blame for all this! I just tried to protect you! Zenosama watches and speaks. Shut up, Beerus. I do not speak to you. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Lord Zenosama. Pay close attention, Goku. A few days ago, I was able to have a vision of a future in another timeline. In that timeline, there was a Goku who apparently resembled Goku Black a lot. That being that has been eliminated by Zenosama a long time ago. For some reason in another timeline, the Lord by my side and everything and everyone, Lord Goku. I couldn't understand very well if there is another being that is manipulating us. The thing is... Now after I have merged my powers with you, no other god has been able to defeat his powers. You ended up being the ruler of everything. We in that universe tried to face you. In a few moments the Lord had received universal power and not even we who was among the most powerful angels had managed to defeat him. You humiliated the angel of universe 7. Current timeline, we observes and speaks. What? It seems that at least in one timeline, you actually surpassed me over, Lord Goku. <laughs> At that moment, Goku is shocked by everything he hears. The great priest watches and speaks. In any situation, other than all this that Zenosama is telling you, it's Lord Goku, the right thing really would be to imprison him in the heavenly prison or to eliminate him. But because of his great friendship with Zenosama and in his trust in his power, he has given you the opportunity for you to be able to fix all these mistakes in these timelines. After all, it wouldn't make much of a sense for us to take the two Zenosama to erase the universe in which he himself exists in that universe, don't you think? We already have two Zenos here. We'd have to keep one more. It's already too much. 
So you will have to solve the situation with your form of infinite destruction and really show your true powers. What will be your answer, Lord Goku? At that moment, Goku starts watching and says, This can only be madness. <laughs> you mean I caused major problems in several timelines? This transformation is the God Omni. That power that is capable of destroying everything and everyone. Timelines have already caused major problems for us. I remember everything Trunks went through like it was today. <laughs> if this really continues, we're going to have a hard time. I can't let that happen. Damn it. So does that mean it's going to be like this? It seems like yesterday that Trunks needed my help and we fought Zamasu and Goku Black and tried to save all universes. The difference is... And now the battle will be against all the gods. Does that mean that now the enemy is myself, fused with Zanosama's powers? Weird! At that moment, Whis observes everything the great priests and Zenosama say and wonders. Lord Zeno, my dad, if those powers that Mr. Beerus saw in his dream were the powers that were assigned to a Goku in another timeline, what explains this transformation that Mr. Goku was able to show by fighting Mr. Beerus now? What is the meaning of this power? At that moment, the great priest observes and speaks. Goku was conducting training in the time chamber. This time chamber is a creation of the Kamisama deity. Temporal paradoxes occur in her and time passes in a totally different way. Temporal rifts may have been created there and all beings that were present there may have suffered some disturbances. Perhaps not only Goku but Gohan and Vegeta may show some anomaly in their powers. Maybe this is interesting. After all, you will need a lot of luck to make it out of these other timelines alive. Know that everything will depend on you, Lord Goku. At that moment, Goku observes and speaks. Mr. Beerus and Mr. Whis, I think now is the time for me to show the true power of my training. Whether that timeline is currently totally destroyed, the only thing we need to do is wipe out all the enemies there and ask the Super Dragon Balls to rebuild this timeline. I'm sure we will be able to do that. You can leave it to me. If I was the one who started this fight on another planet, I'm the one who will solve it. Beerus starts to smile and says, I don't know if you're a very brave guy or a very lucky guy, Goku, but now it's up to you. At that moment, the great priest and Zenosama started to smile. The great priest says, Very good. I think it's time for you to start your Goku work. Universe 7, Timeline 8. This universe had been created by other celestial beings where the gods of destruction alongside the angels already dominated everything and everyone. They had different goals. Some wanted to have more powers than Zenosama and others already had such great energy that they just wanted to cause destruction to more and more planets without bringing balance. A great light dawns in the new universe 7. It was Goku combined with Zenosama's powers. Goku Omni King appears. Goku says, Looks like I didn't even have time to think twice. Mr. Zeno really brought me here. I'm still having to get control of this new transformation. The issue is, of having to fight the gods or end up with another celestial being doesn't sound good to me. Uh, sounds like something that goes against my rules. I can't understand how this actually ended up happening. I need to think very carefully before showing any kind of skill. Even here being Universe 7 from another timeline, I still feel like I'm home. At that moment, Goku was a slight flash... No. At that moment, Goku has a slight flashback of his conversation with the High Priest next to Zenosama. Zenosama says, Goku, many catastrophes ended up happening. There is another celestial being that is just like you in the other universe, and he ended up becoming the king of everything, even stealing the powers of all the other celestials. You'll have to pay close attention before going to fight any of the beings that appear there. Think that here, besides the great priest, I dominate everything. I do this governance while the great priest control the beings that appear here. But I think that things in another universe might be totally different. When we start talking about the skills and powers that have been developed among many other warriors, we need to pay close attention. You will now have to fight all other gods and all other beings who want to bring darkness to other universes and other timelines. I hope that with the new power you've attained, you'll be able to manage to do that. We trust you. The great priest washes and says, 
I believe that with that power you ended up showing, you are among the five most powerful in the Son Goku universe. I hope you understand, Son Goku. Lots of things that would end up happening, pay close attention. Your powers are really high, but you have no idea what it's like to fight a god who is using all his strength. We're talking millennia of years of training. I hope you're capable. After all, you yourself in another timeline ended up causing all the destruction. At that moment, Goku begins to reflect and prepares for the next battle. Goku says goodbye to all his friends and says, Good. Now I'm going to resolve the situation within all the universes. Goku is thrown by Xenosama directly into another timeline. Goku arrives at timeline number 8. Back to the present moment. Goku in space watches and talks. Looks like I need to see. Everything that is happening here needs to analyze this whole situation. I think I'll go straight to Earth. I think I'll go straight to Earth. I need to understand with all the inhabitants there what is happening. At that moment, Goku teleports directly to Earth. All the humans who were there ended up being scared. Others called him your majesty. The great celestial being has arrived. What are you talking about? The great celestial being? It doesn't make any sense. What do you want from me? Goku began to analyze the whole situation and said, Huh, these people are really funny. Well, for me, it doesn't matter. Perhaps if I found Gohan and the others, yeah, they could understand. Goku goes to Capsule Corporation. At that moment, Goku says, Hey, Boma! I'm glad you're here. I need to talk to Vegeta. In fact, I am Goku from another timeline. I need to bring balance to the universe. So I need to understand what's really going on here. At that moment, Boma observes and speaks. Goku, you've got to be kidding. After absorbing Xenosama's powers, you began to wreck Havok in all universes and eventually became an emperor of the entire universal galaxy. Goku watches and speaks. What? What are you talking about, Boma? That's not possible. I didn't do any of that. Or did I? Damn it, I don't understand this thing. At that moment, Goku asks where Vegeta is and what happened to him. The moment Goku wonders where Vegeta would be, Goku is taken aback by information Boma passes on, saying that after this current timelines, Goku became the ruler of everything. He united with the most powerful Saiyans and the strongest warriors and made them the heavily guard. At that moment, Boma explains that the god is of all Saiyans and all other beings after Goku from the timeline destroyed everything was over. The gods of destruction ended up agreeing with the true ideals of the new Goku. Once he had Xenosama's powers, the two had became one. Goku's powers had gone highwire with Xenosama's mindset that he only wanted to erase the things he thought were right. So that ended up causing the big catastrophe. Any other being who disagreed with something that was happening would have to pay dearly. Many mortals lost their lives. Many other universes were destroyed. Nobody ever got into any arguments. Many complicated things ended up happening. And that makes us wonder, what you came here to do if you're not Goku who wants to end everything? Would you want to challenge him? What are you really going to do? At that moment, the Goku of the timeline that we all follow is shocked by the information that passes and says, So that's really what happened. It seems that it discredits too much of the powers that could be developed. So that means that now things are going to get much more complicated. I understand. It seems that I could not imagine that all this could still be possible to happen. I believe that only Goku Black would be a dark version of me. But it looks like that we have much more complicated situations. Boma? Don't worry, I will still bring peace to everyone throughout this universe. Even if I have to wipe out all the dark beings that exist here. With the help of the Super Dragon Balls, I'm sure that after this great catastrophe happens, we will be able to rebuild this whole universe. I think I already know the first place to go. At that moment, Goku teleports directly to Planet Beerus, planet of the God of Destruction. Beerus and Whis are somewhat different. Beerus watches Goku and speaks. Goku! Does that mean your powers are getting bigger? Huh. Very interesting. Have you managed to master your essence to really be the ruler of everything? At that moment, Goku watches and speaks. Uh, Lord Beerus, I... Do you think I'm the Goku you know? Whis laughs and talks. Did you not realize that Mr. Beerus is not your majesty? Hmm. This Goku has an energy very similar to that of Goku who received the powers of Lord Beerus. But it seems to come from another timeline. Goku smiles and speaks. Exactly! Exactly! I came here to show that we can bring balance without causing major catastrophes for these universes. Not except that you end up destroying everything. I came here to stop my dark self. Beer starts to smile and says, So you're not my majesty's Goku. Very well. 
We will eliminate you here and now. Gonka speaks. I already knew this would happen. So let's go. Beerus charges straight in to attack Goku, but Goku remembers Zenosama and says, I'm going to need to use that transformation again. In a short space of time, Goku's body begins to create different temporal energies, causing a large sphere of energy to be created under his body. A spatial form appears over his body. Beerus looks at Goku in his face with a vision of the universe and his white hair with ultra instinct. Beerus can't understand what's going on. In moments, Beerus is devastated by Goku's planetary attack. Goku says, Mr. Beerus, that power goes far beyond anything that transcends you. So I'm sorry, you have no chance of beating me. In a few moments, we starts laughing and talking. Well done, Sword Goku. It seems that you have surpassed even the energy of Ultra Instinct. That will be fascinating. I figured Mr. Beerus couldn't handle this. So let's go. At that moment, Whis and Goku Omni King starts to fight and several blows starts to occur. The great battle begins to unfold for days. Goku and Whis exchange punches until the moment when Whis says, <coughs> I never imagined that a Saiyan would be one day reach this level. If you're not the Goku of this universe, how do you manage to power up the powers of the Omni King? That's odd. When Whis was about to finish his sentence, Goku holds his hand and hits him in the belly saying, I think it's best that you let me handle the situation and take care of Mr. Beerus because things are not going to get much more complicated if you don't take this personally. An angel doesn't need to get involved. Especially when it's an angel who trained me in the past. Whis looks at Goku and smiles and says, Very well then. Do what you need to do, Lord Goku. Palace of the Omni King. After the events in timeline number 8 have occurred and this timeline's Goku has become ruler of everything after absorbing Zenosama's powers. Inside the Vegeta Palace, Gohan, all the other warriors and the most powerful warriors from all the universes found themselves as rulers of Goku the Dark God. Goku washed and spoke. It seems that all the timelines were bothered by what I ended up doing here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Vegeta, Gohan, I think the time has come for us to start acting. To be continued. So hey my partner, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all this? Is Goku using his full power as the Omni King fighting a devastating battle against his own race in the other universes? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you already expose it here in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Click the like button, subscribe here to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.